What is up guys? Welcome back to yet another Dragon Blaze video. I hope everybody's doing well. I hope you are accomplishing Dragon Blaze dreams because that's why we're here. We are here to accomplish those dreams together and anything and everything beyond that point. Uh, this is going to be a short video as well. Um, so make sure you're doing your revenge event. It is going away, I believe, tomorrow, I believe. What's the day? The 20th? Yes, so it should be going away today, probably, actually. It's clear tomorrow, so make sure you're doing that. Same thing with the two times fight reward. Same as well for the two time daily aspiration. So hopefully you've been playing quite a bit. Memories Essence event is going to stay here for a little bit longer. So if you haven't finished Katarina's story when it comes to this, make sure you are doing that. It's really awesome and it reveals more information. Your World Boss event is here. The Katarina Raid, make sure you are doing this. Uh, you get the you get some of the new gears and also combining the gears once you enchant him with the enchanted stones uh, it's going to take you a while to do that so make sure you are participating in that make sure you're doing the adventure sanctuary because you do get nothing but katarina stuff i would recommend getting star essences in your stones that's what i would stick with because magnifying glasses you'll get on a day-to-day -day basis so i would definitely recommend just getting those two things you get water essences, light essences, and all that good stuff just by farming uh, in Katarina's story. So, anyways, so you do know that the 23rd of this month, which is literally in a couple of days, the new Rogue is coming out. I previewed him um, like a month or so ago, maybe a little longer than that. If you look on your icon, when you type, when you um, first launch Dragon Blaze, you will see that his picture right there on the icon. You'll see he's coming out. <clears throat> Hopefully you're preparing for him. I don't know if he was coming out this soon, so I only got 28 summons. Actually, I have more than that. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and buy some more of these because when I open up packs, I'll get a lot more. So I'll have more summons for him. So make sure you use your prime summons for him. Make sure you're using your fragment of memories up here as well. I've been saving up quite a bit of those. almost have 2,000 of those. I'm going to be using that as well. Make sure you are doing the same thing. You want to get him as high as level as possible. Make sure you get him to level 20 and above because once you get him there, you'll be able to go to the Library of Fate, go through the first room with him, <laughs> and hopefully get more hero cards and pages for him when it comes to trying to make him stronger in that regard. So also make sure you do that. And last but not least, make sure you take him through Pass of the Forest. I did, my last video was basically about this, about focusing on your fourth impacts because that's definitely what the game is your third and fourth impacts uh, this is where you want to focus at he's going to be added here i have to do i have to finish uh, kesha's story before i start focusing on him you can get more hero cards from him here or any of your fourth impact characters that are displayed on the screen here so make sure you are focusing on that you want to make him as strong as possible within the short amount of time that he is released because um Time does go pretty fast, guys. I got a little over 20 million rupees. So I'm going to put a decent amount into him. Also, more summons as well that I acquire over time. So we definitely want to make sure we do that. Equipment summons, I'm going to save those for him as well because obviously lots of characters need that. So this is all definitely preparation for the new hero that's coming out. So make sure that you are preparing for that. He's going to be powerful. He's going to be great. Um, as far as like my gears and stuff goes, I've been getting lots and lots of red gear. So I'm definitely happy about that as well. So as you see here, I have red gear for the warriors. I have both of my swords for my dual wielders, which is pretty amazing. Uh, nothing for the archers that I can buy though. I made my priestess, I got their staff. Nothing for the archers yet, the rogues, I got the armor. But again, I can also buy more equipment. Paladin, I'm only missing one piece, which is a sword. I got the armor. I got the shield. And then for the canter, I got the armor. So, um, definitely says I don't have a lot for them, but he's going to be ready. He's going to be strong. And I'm going to power him up as much as possible. Ruin Sanctuary is maxed out. So, make sure you guys are doing the same thing as well. I'm always acquiring ruins and stuff like that because you never know what the future is going to hold. Uh, newer players, it's going to be probably a little harder for you to boost up the uh, the new fourth impact. So that's why Heroes, Gal uh, not Heroes Gallery, uh, Path of the Force 
and um, Library of Fate is going to be your best friend. It's still my best friend as well. I'm going to definitely throw him in there so we can power him up a bit more because that's where it's definitely needed for him. And just be ready for him. Uh, new events is coming out with him as well. Uh, Kowloon events coming out. Some more festival events are coming as well. I should have put the patch notes here in this video, but I'm not going to like to just talk about the, um, the events when they come out. That's just kind of how I've been doing things. It just makes it a little bit easier because um, there's not many much you can do to prepare for these certain events, depending on what they are. Um, make sure you are going through your your Tower Phantom because you do get lots of resources through there. Um, tons of hero cards you can get throughout the game. Make sure you are crafting hero cards as well because when the new guy come out, you can craft hero cards to hopefully get some some drops from there. Um, try to save whatever summons you get. Uh, definitely for newer players, if you don't know how to craft, it's been a while since I've actually crafted, um, you can go here to to manage cards and then at the very top right here says craft card. So you can definitely go here and craft. Um, I can craft quite a bit of hero cards, which we'll probably be doing that as well. So just more ways to prepare for him so we can get as many summons as possible. <laughs> That's basically it for this video. He's going to be great. Um, newer players definitely craft um, hero cards. Save your summons if you haven't already used them. Make sure you're using your fourth, uh, your fourth impact summons because you get quite a bit of high rates from there. Make sure you are buying more hero summons with your guy, uh, with your guy coins here, and all that good stuff. Just be ready for him because he's going to be exciting. He's going to be very powerful. He's going to be a damage dealer. That's what we want. We need more of that in the game to also help you accomplish your goals. But until next time, guys, I will see you for the next one. This is just preparation hero videos and where I'm at and what's going on. And then the next content is going to be about him. So the next video, it should come out on Tuesday. Um, I'm going to be making one about him, breaking him down, and just being excited about the new hero, guys. So if you want it me to do a specific video post the comments below and let me know specifically what you want until next time guys i'll see you for the next one